What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld, we got you covered. Hope everybody's doing well out there, enjoying your Steam Decks if you've been fortunate enough to get one already, and for those who have not yet received their Steam Decks or are kind of debating whether or not they should get one all i can say is i love my steam deck and the more and more i use it the more and more i am impressed by it the steam deck model that i have is the 512 gigabyte model and i currently have it dual booted with windows and steam os both running on the internal ssd with a partition with this setup i'm able to play just about any game in my library including games outside of Steam, such as games on Game Pass, PlayStation Remote Play, Epic Games, even games that have kernel level anti-cheats, games like Call of Duty Multiplayer, Warzone, which won't run on Steam OS because of the kernel level anti-cheat. I've had my Steam Deck dual booted for a couple of weeks now, so I thought it would be a good time to speak on which I think is better on the Steam Deck, Windows or Steam OS. And what I'm gonna say in this video is really just my personal opinion and my personal preference and should not be treated as advice because what I think is right for me may not be right for everybody else. Before we dive in, if you guys enjoyed today's video, please be sure to leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any of our future content. Lots of great content on this channel for the Steam Deck. We also cover PC and PS5 as well. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. Now, one of the cool things about the Steam Deck is that it's an actual PC. And with that comes a lot of options as to how you want to run it and how you want to play your games. I probably have close to a hundred games across PC and PlayStation. And you know, also there's Game Pass as well. And I wanted my Steam Deck to be my ultimate portable gaming device that gives me the ability to play all of my games. And I found that the only way to do that was to dual boot the Steam Deck and add Windows to it. My first attempt at dual booting the Steam Deck came in the form of installing Windows on a 512 gigabyte SD card, which left me with a 512 gigabyte storage on the internal SSD for Steam OS. And it's actually worked out pretty well for me. The process was pretty easy and very straightforward. You'll find a lot of people doing this right now, a lot of videos on YouTube on how to do it. And I didn't experience any adverse effects whatsoever by using this method. I did come across some posts on Reddit saying that this method could cause some premature wear on your SD card and that it could break at some point. Personally, it didn't happen to me. I didn't have any issues with it, nor have I come across anybody who has used this method and has said that their SD card is no longer working, but just take that into consideration if you decide to use this method. Eventually, I decided to switch to an internal SSD partition because I felt like Windows would run even better on the internal SSD than even on a very fast SD card, and I was correct in that it does run way better on the internal SSD than it does on an SD card. Now, in terms of which operating system is better on the Steam Deck, it really boils down to a few things. One is, what games do you like to play? Does your game library consist of games that are mostly on Steam? Or are you like me and you have games spread across multiple launchers and multiple platforms such as PC, PlayStation, Game Pass, etc.? Do you want to be able to play all of these games on the Steam Deck or are you content with playing what's available or verified and playable from the Steam Store? Do you play a lot of multiplayer games that have anti-cheats and are you concerned with not being able to play these games on Steam OS? For me, I wanted my Steam Deck to be the ultimate portable gaming device where I can play all of my games. So for me, Windows was the best option to do that. Another question is, how comfortable are you with Linux and how willing are you to learn Linux? Because not every game on the Steam Store works on Steam OS and will require some tinkering. A Ge Gears 5 is a good example of that. That game has an anti-cheat. We had to go in and disable the anti-cheat in order to get the single player side 
of that game to work. On Windows, this would not have been an issue at all. Just install the game and run it and enjoy both the single player and the multiplayer side. Now, not everybody agrees that running Windows is required in order to be able to play all of these games on the Steam Deck. In fact, I received a comment from a viewer saying, all the pros you listed for Windows actually already work on SteamOS except ray tracing. I've been playing Xbox Game Pass and PlayStation streaming since day one. I'll just respond to this really quickly. What he's referring to when he says he's able to play Xbox Game Pass and he's been streaming PlayStation on Steam OS is he's referring to xCloud, which is not the same as Xbox Game Pass. xCloud is a streaming service, which requires you to actually have a good internet connection in order to play the game, which is different from Xbox Game Pass, which allows you to download the game onto your Steam Deck and play it locally. And in regards to being able to stream PlayStation games from your PlayStation to your Steam Deck using Steam OS, this is possible using an app called Chiaki, which is not the same as using the PlayStation, the official PlayStation Remote Play app. Chiaki only allows you to stream your PlayStation games to your Steam Deck across a Wi Fi connection, and it's not a smooth experience at all. It's very buggy at the moment maybe this will be fixed and improved down the road but at as of right now it is pretty buggy and if you go and search on youtube everybody who has reviewed chiaki will tell you this the official playstation remote play app gives you a much smoother experience you don't see all of the the, the distortions in the picture and the popping and the cracking and the sound like you would with chiaki and you can play across the internet. So if you go out of town, you take your Steam Deck, you can connect to your PlayStation 5 and you can play your games across the internet on your Steam Deck. One advantage of Chiaki though, is that you can use the controller that's built in on the Steam Deck. If you use the official PlayStation Remote Play app, you have to use the PlayStation controller the same way you would have to do it on a regular PC. He did acknowledge that ray tracing is still not functional on SteamOS. Maybe that will change with uh, future updates to the operating system, but it's not working yet. He did not even attempt to address what I said about anti-cheat games. Multiplayer games with anti-cheats, they will not run on SteamOS because the anti-cheat requires Windows. All of this begs the question, if Windows is so great, on the Steam Deck, why not just have a full Windows install and just get rid of Steam OS? I'm going to be honest, lately I've been somewhat tempted to try that out because I find that I spend a lot more time in Windows than I do on Steam OS because there's literally no game that I cannot play on Windows that I can play in Steam OS, whereas the opposite is true. There are games that I can play on Windows that I cannot play in SteamOS. However, I am hesitant to completely get rid of SteamOS because I do enjoy the experience. I, I think it's a very good operating system, despite the fact that there are certain games that can't be played. Outside of that, SteamOS is a very, very good experience. And um, I just hope that one day I'll be able to play all the same games on SteamOS that I can on Windows. At that point, I really won't have a reason to use Windows at all. I'll just, I'll be very content with just running Steam OS. But until that time comes, I feel for me, Windows is the way to go because I don't have the limitations on the games that I have in Steam OS. I don't think I'll ever get rid of Steam OS. I think I'll always have Steam OS running on my Steam Deck. Right now I have it partitioned on the internal SSD right down the middle. So both sides are sharing the 512 gigabytes and with an equal share of storage. But what I might end up doing now is repartitioning the internal SSD to leave just enough room for the Steam OS operating system and have the rest for Windows. And if there are games that I want to play on Steam OS, I'll just put those games on an SD card and play it that way and the reason i want to do that is because 
any kind of firmware update that comes through for the Steam Deck will have to be installed via Steam OS. So I want to keep it on there at least to be able to update the firmware in the future. But in terms of actually playing games, I'll probably be playing most of my games on the Windows side. So if I do decide to repartition my internal SSD to just leave enough room for Steam OS and then use the rest for Windows, I will definitely do a tutorial video on how to dual boot from the internal SSD. All right, guys. So those are my thoughts on the matter. These are just my opinions. This is not advice for you to tell you what to do with your Steam Deck. Enjoy it how you want to do it. This is the beauty of PC is that you have a lot of options and everybody can do something different and be happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Maybe it helped you out, hopefully. And if you did, leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos like this, tip videos, and also showing off gameplay, showing off games run on the Steam Deck. You definitely don't wanna miss out on any of that. All right, guys, I'm out of here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.